What's going on guys, GeoSnow right here, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to bypass the iCloud activation on iOS 11 beta 1 using the um, iCloud DNS bypass that works on any device, being it an iPhone, an iPod or an iPad and it was created by Igor July. Now some of you already know about this method because it's been a while, it's been, a, it's been here for a while and um, yeah, it's been created somewhere in 2015, but it still works as of iOS 11, which is definitely great. I thought it's going to get patched in this um, in this version, but it did not. So let me show you, because it's a little bit different now, uh, even though you already know about this method, it's now different, uh, it's a different way to activate it, because as you can see, the setup has a new interface now, it's a little bit different, but um, at the core of the method, it's the same thing, it's an IP address that you change in the DNS section. For example, we have this Comcast, Wi-Fi network in here. This um, this device is on the setup screen. It's not activated. And if you click in here, as you can see, it did change a little bit. Now everything is uh, grouped in its own in its own way, and you have to configure it uh, in a different way. For example, you have here the IP and the client ID, which used to be all on a single page and you have the DNS which is in here and you have the search domains and so on. You need to set it to manual and um, here you have add a um, search domain or add a server. You click add server and as you can see you get a keyboard in here and you go to numbers and you're going to add one of the following IP addresses. You have one for USA, Europe or Asia. Now keep in mind a lot of people have asked have been asking me about the uh, Africa because there is for USA, Europe and Asia. You can use the Europe one or any of them. In fact any of them would work for any region but the, uh, the closest you are to the server, the better it is for the speed, that's, uh, that's a fact. But you can use the Europe one because Africa is quite close to Europe, to Asia, so you would be good on that point if you're, if you're from uh, Africa or any uh, country from there. So I'm going to use the USA one and um, it looks like this, 104154.51. Point seven. This is what you need to do. Do not join the network first. You need to at first do this configuration, click save in here and only now join the network. If you've already joined the network, you need to go ahead in here, press this button and you will have something like Wi-Fi settings. Press that and then press this little I in here and you will have a blue button like this one in here, which will say uh, forget network. You click forget network and then you go ahead Click again the network in here, click the I, do the configurations that I did and join the network now. If you if you are already on that network, it's not going to work. We're going to join the network now. All right, so after it connects, it's going to show you this ui.icloud.dnsbypass.com and your network name. And uh, this is pretty much it. It's going to open a, uh, a menu style. You're going to go in here. You can also set the language. And you're going to have these options in here. You're going to have flashlight, you're, you're going to have chat rooms. For those of you who already know this method, it's exactly the same. It's, it, didn't, it didn't get changed. But for those of you who do not know it, then it presents a couple of applications that you can use. You get access to the internet. It's not going to activate the device. You, you need to keep that in mind. It's not a full method. It's something you can try uh, while waiting for a full method. Well, it's better than nothing, but it's definitely not a completely working method that's going to remove magically the iCloud from the device. That's literally impossible. You can only bypass it in a way or another, better or worse, but uh, you will never be able to completely remove the iCloud account from the device. You can only do stuff to the device itself, uh, that being the uh, DNS methods or various other things. For example, the custom farmer, if only you have an exploit, but um, this is pretty much what you can do and uh, it does give you a couple of options in here. You can, as I said, you can navigate to the internet, you can use some applications that are uh, pre-installed in here and there is also this kind of weird stuff, um, well it does have an advertisement, the other one doesn't have one, which is okay. And uh, it's like a menu of sorts, it's definitely quite interesting as you can see from here. And uh, you can definitely open these folders up and yeah, it's it's pretty interesting if you if you ask me. I'm going to go here to main. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it brings you to, to a website. As I said, you can definitely uh, watch you can watch stuff on your on your device, you can uh, you can browse the internet. There is also one other menu that is called uh, iHacks DNS that I personally love is this one in here. I presented this particular one in another video. It's pretty well made, it's better than the, the, the one I just presented and it looks like these. As you can see it does have a slide to unlock and 
you unlock the device and it looks quite like this. The first time is going to load a little bit harder, but then it works quite okay. And uh, the guy behind this was very, very kind and he created a section especially for FC365. As you can see from here, we're going to navigate into it. As I say, the first time you do it, it's going to show a little bit of blackness in here uh, as it loads and so on. But um, yeah, that, that's pretty much because it loads and that's pretty much because my internet is crap currently. So I'm going to go back into, into here. Anyways, this one as well has SoundCloud, Spotify, Pandora and so on. You have quite a few things, you have YouTube, you have, as I said, quite a few things that you can use, which is pretty damn nice for an iCloud locked device. So it's definitely something useful you can definitely try. Also have news outlets like CBS, like CNN, NBC, Nacho Wild or Nacho, uh, New York Times, Wikipedia and so on. Everything you would like to do on the device. Of course, it's not going to be like the real deal. It's not going to be the same as having it full screen and so on. But considering the fact that the device is locked, then I think it's quite nice. Then you also have the uh, iHacks store in here, which is available in the um, captive portal. You have maps, you have uh, various other applications, which is quite nice. For example, uh, there is iHacks uh, Nintendo, whatever is here, NES, NES. And uh, okay, you have quite a few games in here, by the way. Let's see what I have. You have Jackbox, Katana Fruits. Okay. All right. You can disable or enable this from the uh, from from the uh, screen, the main screen in there. That's pretty nice. That's pretty interesting. So um, yeah, definitely interesting thing. I would definitely be using it. So this is pretty much the uh, iHacks DNS, and this is pretty much the uh, iCloud DNS bypass method working on iOS 11. I'm pretty surprised that it that it works, and I'm I'm pretty surprised that it it actually does the. Um, the trick because by now I was expecting Apple to fix it so yeah definitely interesting when you're done you click down in here and it goes back to whatever thing this one goes to create a passcode but in your case it's going to go to the activation anyways this is actually it guys do not forget this is not a complete method it's not going to completely bypass the setup screen it's just an overlay to the uh, setup screen but it does offer you quite a few applications and it does work on iOS 11 so keep that in mind it's just a little bit different once you connect it you can see that there are, um, there are other things in here there are the manual and uh, things things like so uh, which um, yeah the IP address is subnet the manual or automatic DNS which you have to to fiddle with but anyways it's quite of the same procedure so I hope you enjoy it till the next time I'm Geosnow peace out